What's your plan with your money? Are you making enough money to take care of yourself? Are you investing? As a young unmarried woman, what are your plans for the future? This is Omote. My name is Ogaga Utautu. And in our episode, we will discuss issues, challenges, and prefer solutions to what the unmarried woman is faced with. And I have with me an amazing certified finance coach who will be talking to us on how to invest your money. Thank you so much, Mr. Benjamin Adoja. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we're going on a quick break, and when we return, Omote continues. Stay with us. <laughs> thank you for coming and thank you for coming on the show. Thanks. We are glad to have you. Thank you. So we need you to talk to us. I mean, young unmarried woman, and Omote is watching us right now. Yes. And she wants to know how to manage her finance. Yes. So what does it mean to be financially independent? Thank you so much, by the way, you're looking so oh, Thank you, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, simply put, to be financially independent means you, the investment, the returns from the investment are meeting all the needs. Mm. You're, no, you're no longer working to earn. You're no longer working because you have to make ends meet. The returns, your, the cash flow from your, from, your, from your investment are now meeting all your needs. That's what it means. Yeah. That's serious. Is yes. it, but that's a tall order. Is it possible? It is. <laughs> Aside the double and the rest. Very, very possible. It's possible? Yes, it is. Okay, please, let us in on that. How do you do that? It's very simple. How can, how can you be? The first thing I would like to say is that wealth is a gift. Wealth is built. It takes time. It takes knowledge. It takes um, process. Mm. Uh, because a lot of us think that we would need to we eat it, uh, we hammer something like that. <laughs> Don't blow. Uh, 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 blow. <laughs> but of course, that happens okay. sometimes. Okay. But I've realized that a lot of people that just happen to stumble into wealth within a year or two, they lose it mm. because they didn't attract it. Oh. Wealth is attracted. The wealth is attracted to value. So I would say that the first thing to do as a single um, lady... An unmarried lady, an unmarried lady. An unmarried lady. Little like because single. Yes, <laughs> oh, an unmarried lady, yeah. I beg your pardon, is to, first and foremost, you have to know yourself. You have to know your, um, your purpose. And then um, start by putting things in place with respect to your income, with respect to, with respect to your investment. Mm. How do you go about it? But there are some of them that yes. are, I'm sorry, I'll have to cut you here. There are some of them that are not, some people have never started investing. They'll tell you, how much am I making? Mm -hmm. I'm just making 50,000 naira. How, what do I have to set aside to invest? Yes. Well, how do you, how do you, what do you have, what's your advice to someone who is not making so much and desires to invest? Okay, very simple. It's what I call incremental saving. Okay. The first thing I would advise such an unmarried lady is she needs to practice what I call incremental saving. Uh, there's this. Um, I break it down. Oh, that's yes. Use the name as well. Yes. What does it mean? <laughs> it's very simple. Okay. Uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, save ten percent, save to practice." But what if you cannot afford to save ten percent? You know, okay. expenses. Okay. So what I would advise is, if it's just one percent you can save, start with that. So it's just weekly basis, basis or a weekly basis. basis. As you know, as often as you can, okay. you know, afford to do so. Any income that comes in, okay. One percent is set aside as savings. Okay. You do that consistently, mm. consistently. Then once your means improve, you increase it. You jack it up. Okay, two point five percent or the three percent till you are able to get to the five percent and the ten percent. What matters most is your consistency. Mm. You are consistently putting something aside because whether or not we like it, things happen. Mm. So the first thing a lady should do is. Okay, how much am I going to save? Then how much am I going to set aside for my emergency fund? I was going to come there because yes. we understand that there are different kinds of savings. Yes, yes. Some people tell you are savings for uh, the, yes. the different savings. Yes. Some of them will even tell you, some persons, some financial persons will tell yes. you, experts will tell you, there's no need to save. But if you're saving, you will still end up going back to mm. deep into that savings. So how do you, what are the ways you can put your fund somewhere where you may not have access to, access like, to directly okay. to immediately? Okay. The first thing I would advise is do what I call um, direct bank debit. Once the money hits your account, you've given the bank uh, the consent to you know, automatic, it's standing order. automatic it's standing standing order. order. Yes, it goes it's there. automated. It's okay. automated. It goes, so it goes to an account. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could approach your bank, 
to um, to have an, like a target savings account. Okay. And what I what I advise is that you you have a goal towards your towards what you are saving. You don't save for saving sake. Okay. You are saving towards a goal. You want to buy a house. You want, want to, to buy, buy a land. You want to buy something. You want to buy a car. You have a goal to also okay. save you saving. Then the second thing is set aside your emergency fund. Okay. What that means is that you are able to save up to three to six months of your living expenses. Okay. Because things happen. Unforeseen contingencies happen. A job loss, the loss of his, of a loved one, something just but that also takes off and all that. You know, that also takes yes. us back to the savings that you said the bank, the standing order, the yes. bank has said, so long it's in an account yes. and you have an ATM card to it, yes. I can assure you, you'll go back there. Don't you think something like a mutual fund or maybe like a treasury bill or something that you can just yes. invest in that you don't have to, you don't have access to immediately? Yes. Don't okay, that that's the third category. Okay, the first one is you are saving towards a goal. Okay, please The second one is you are saving towards an emergency fund. Then the third one is saving towards investing. Oh, okay. There are different kinds of savings. Okay. You are saving towards an investment you know, just to build your financial future. Okay. That's the third category. And what that, uh, how you go about that is you approach some of these finance companies. Some of them have very good plans. Okay. Um, the mutual funds, those of us who are not really vast about, who don't know much about investing in the stock market, mm, stock. invest in the mutual funds, but okay. I would advise that you invest in yourself first. You invest in your knowledge first. How do you do that? First, books, trainings. Training, seminars oh, on investing. Look at that. The most important investment you can ever make is in yourself. You just, I have to yes. there. You know what? Uh, one of our episodes, we're talking about single and living. That yes. was actually our main episode. And um, our guest was talking about the need for you to invest it, to have self knowledge, train yes. yourself. Yes. And uh, you know, some people do not really see that as an investment. Guess what? I was guilty of that. I never saw that as an investment at first. I remember when I when I left my job the first time and I was pumping so much money into getting myself trained and all that. I called my mentor and I said, "I know those monies I wasted. I've gone abroad. Oh, I've just gone abroad to do something." He said, "Those monies are not wasted. You know, invested in, in invested them in yourself." Yes. And you just reiterated yes. that. So I just needed to. Yes. Sort of, yes. Please go ahead. It, it it works magic because nobody will be able to pull the wool off your face. There are so many schemes out there mm. and schemers. Mm. Can I say that again? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yes. I'm sorry to cut again. This set of people, unmoted, the young and married women, are, are sort of like a target market for some scammers. Yes, they are. They look out for you, a young successful lady doing so well, they look out for you. Yes. Maybe in churches. Yeah. Don't say I told you so. They're everywhere. So you have to be you have to be on the lot. Yes. Okay, bring it into my next question. I'm talking about young women that wants that that shoots save for the future, become financially independent, yes. though it's a tall order, but it's, it's possible, it's doable. It's incredible, yes. You know what, because some of them in this class, they do not have too many distractions. Yes. Although some women are the, the, bread, the breadwinner in the yes. families, they take care of their homes and everything. But some do not have so much, like, I mean, you can imagine the last one that is from a family, a well-to-do family, yes. that they're doing so much for themselves. She doesn't have anybody to trade, she doesn't have anybody to take care of, you understand? Yes. She has so much money. Yes. And some of them will just be investing, buying things like bags, Gucci bags, mm -hmm. Hermes, and all of that. I guess for some of those bags, at the end of the day, they peel. The shoes, you get out of there, and they wear out. There's a wonderful financial book I read, and Uma was saying the need. Anyway, we'll be going on a break. When we come back, there's so much I need to talk yeah, about. Yes, I mean, yes. it's just, we're just getting started. Don't worry, we'll be going on a break, and when we return, Omote is still here. Stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. We are still, uh, this is still Omote, and I have with me here an amazing certified finance coach and we'll be talking, he's been talking to us on how to invest your money. So as a young woman, I was telling you before we went yes. on the break that most young women do not have too many responsibilities, you know, so they have some free money yes. to play around with, especially those of them that have good jobs. Yes. And some of them get carried away, uh, you know, with the crave of, the, the wave, like the social media wave, you want to keep up with the Joneses, you want to carry the latest bag, you want to carry the latest shoes, you want to wear red bottoms, carry the expensive hairs and all of that. Forgetting that, these things are not investments. So, what's your advice to a young woman that has so much money to play around with? What should she do? Well, the first thing I would say is that um, they are a very powerful opportunity mm. to build their future, mm. to build their financial future. 
a very powerful leverage, a high income. That is very powerful. It is not how much money you earn, it's how much of it you keep and how hard it works for you to build your future. Mm. You can earn a lot and still expend so much so on things that do not have any significance so to your future. Whether or not we like it, things will happen. Mm. And by the time you are in need of cash, you would try to fall back on those things you had acquired and they wouldn't be worked much. So what I would advise is they should save as much as they can. Save as much as you can. At this moment, you have a very powerful opportunity to save, invest in yourself, go for courses, go for trainings on investing, buy books, then invest, you know, build your portfolio, portfolios. We call it, I was talking about asset allocation earlier. Yeah, yeah. So we have the security bucket and then the, in, uh, the growth or risk bucket. So you need to find out your you risk break appetite. That down. Break that down. Okay, very your financial terms. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, the security bucket are the safe investment havens. Okay. When you can, you know, you can invest your money and you, you can rest. Oh, the night because they are safe. safe. Okay. They are very safe. We have the fixed deposit, oh. we have the T bills, oh, the, the, the bills, the bonds okay. of this world. Okay. Then we also have the um, risk or high growth you know, bucket. Okay. These are investment what classes. Is, uh, what category does that belong to? They are called them risky or high growth bucket. Oh. It's real asset, real asset part yes, of that. Yes, part oh. of that. And then we have businesses you could decide to open a business mm. or invest in other businesses. Mm. Stocks, mm -hmm. um, we have uh, junk bonds. Okay. You could decide to buy forex, you know, buy for, you know, buy mm -hmm. and just save somewhere and then expecting speculation. Maybe there's an increase at the, at the, at the very high demand for dollar, mm -hmm. you, you sell at the profit. Okay. So those are high risk, high yield bucket. Mm -hmm. But the first thing you need to do is you need to know your risk appetite. Okay. You have to do a risk assessment. How do you do that? Very simple. There are so many uh, courses, there are so many online assessment. Uh, on risk, um, and risk assessment. There are so many risk assessment uh, templates online. You could you know, just go online and do one of those um, tests. Mm. It will give you an idea of how much you can store because mm. the other was mm. when you miss one million, you miss You miss I can't even say that you miss how much. I put in so and so much. You yeah. so and so business. Yeah. And you're saying it like, and I'm like, oh, seriously? Yes. How many millions? And don't invest on sentiments. A lot of us lead, a lot of ladies are there, and invest yes, based on sentiments. Yes, just some ladies. Some ladies invest based on sentiments, based on emotions. Okay. When it comes to money, you don't brother. do my brother, my sister, my or my sister. friend is introducing this investment opportunity to me. You have to do your due diligence. Mm, you have to check. That requires knowledge. You need to know a lot about investing. Look at that. It requires knowledge, because someone can bring like a business case to you or a business plan and you look at everything, look at the books and they look so good but by the time you know it's gone when you have knowledge you will be able to tell the lies, tell you know, read between the lines and know which one is true so which one is true. not true mm. so but that requires a lot of um, investment um, acumen a high investment acumen but so can, I, can I say yes. one very truthful thing? Not everybody has that time. Yes. For, for, I mean, I, I'll be speaking for myself. Yes, yes. At times, when you come, when it comes to this IT thing, I get really tired. Or, I mean, I get, I, I lose patience. Okay. So it's not everybody that has that. So for those that cannot really handle all of that, okay. what is your maths and the yes, rest? Yes. I don't have that power to do. Yes. How do you do? We that? have providers. We have financial planning providers. Oh. So the first, if we could, you know, approach any financial plan. We, we do financial planning. So you could you know, walk up to a financial planning organization. Okay. They would take care of the all, all of that the stuff for you. For you. Okay. Come up with a financial plan for you. Your goals. They would open your goals for the next one year, two years, two three years. years. Three then they would plot a map between where you are now and how you can reach those goals. Look at that. Using your money, you know, wisely to build the kind of future you desire. Amazing. So financial planning is very critical. Very critical. Very critical. Amazing. Yes. Fantastic. I'll be moving on to one very question. It has to do with relationship, but we should delve into it because okay. it's all about money. I've had not one, not two, not three young and married women okay. tell me that they're giving money to young men yes. and they're both with it. Yes. And at times it, it boils me. At times I feel so sad that a young woman will allow herself to be deceived. Yes. 
you know, cajole into parting with your hard earned funds. So how do you how do you deal with this? Especially women that just know what I said I should only one million, I should only two million. You know, with the pride, with the mindset of okay, you will get married to me, I should give it so you don't be as if I'm not healthy. Please, how do we come in? It's not a relationship that you know you cannot discuss anything about your married woman without cheating a bit of that. Because yes. it happens every day. Yes. The other day a story trended on Facebook, I really found out that her supposed fiance is married. No, took her money and got married to another woman. Wow. The story trended went viral. Please wow. tell us. When it comes to loaning out money, yes. you have to be very conscious that the money is not going to come back. So you have to do, okay, so an example, um, my wife, she wanted to loan her friend a certain sum of money, and that's a lot of money. And you know, I told her, if your friend does not return this money, would you be able to sleep? Mm. <laughs> so pretty much just do it as though you are giving her the money. You are going to her, but in your mind, if she doesn't return, if she doesn't it, return, okay, I'm not even comfortable with, with giving to her. Okay, I'm, because I, I'm comfortable. She said I'm comfortable with giving half of that amount to her. So you are going to her, but in your mind, mm -hmm. if you return, no, what about you? If you don't return, no, mm -hmm. no, wahala. Yes. So mm -hmm. you can work with the amount you are comfortable with, mm -hmm. because when you trust people too much. And you they hurt you. They, they hurt you. Mm. Especially when it comes to money. Like, money? Yes. <laughs> you can and say example, that again. Someone was sharing with me some days back that he loaned someone a, certain, a, a large amount of money. And the person has stopped picking his car. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. many stories. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah. Then we're going to continue on that. Yeah. Let, me, let me just hold it there. We're going to take a quick break. And when we return, we're still talking about financial independence. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. financially independent. So Mr. Benjamin is still in the building. So we're talking about loans. Yes. How who to loan to and what to loan and how to loan. Yes. <laughs> so you know, the amount of money you should know that you're comfortable with and you know that okay if this person doesn't pay, I'm fine. So as a wise investor, please go ahead. Well I, this reminds me of, of another story um, of a lady she works in a bank. Okay. Um she loaned she borrowed five million Younger sister had uh, told her about an investment scheme mm. that seemed too good to be to true. Be true. You know, just invest five million, I'm and within two months you would get so you know, ten million. She <laughs> was, she was, you know, she was, she, she would not sleep. So she had to, she had to borrow the uh, five million, and she invested the entire money. That was it. Her money. She borrowed it. She invested in the in, in the scheme. Up till now, it's been more than two years now. Wow. The investment wow. has gone down. And she's had to be paying through her, through her nose, oh. repaying the loan, mm. and it's putting undue pressure on her. Mm. So, and, and when she came to us, and we had to quickly, you know, help her with a financial plan, you no, know, help her with um, a payment, a repayment um, mm. plan, and all that, a loan repayment plan, and all that. So, it all boils down to not investing. Oh, he's my sister. Mm. He's my brother. Oh, she's, she's my sister. He's my brother. Oh, uh, she, because this lady invested because her, si her younger sister mm. advised her to invest in it. Mm. And she felt that since my sister is advised me to do this, this would be definitely genuine. So you only should check. I remember when that, scheme, when that scheme came up, you yes. have to make so much money and double it. Yes. It was, a lot of my friends were doing it. I went to one of the houses the other day and they were telling me how to do it, this, put this, put this. Ah, this one told me I made 400 or something thousand. Yes. I told them, I'm going to have a good laugh when this thing packs up. They said, yes. I should go. I'm always very skeptical. I said, I'm going to have a good laugh. Guess what? When it packed up, <laughs> I had a good laugh. I went to the house, I sat down, and I laughed to my feet. Why? Because one of them just joined. She just got married and she oh. joined. And guess what? Her money is everything oh. went with it. It worked for some people. It so, did. like you rightly said, it's good for us to yes. do our thorough check. Yes. Very Investigate before getting into any yes. business. Another yes. thing that a, a young and married lady can do that has yes. money, some money to play around with is to start a business. Start some people are still in their career, yes. still doing what they're doing, but they want to do other businesses. Yes. But you know the mistakes some make? They delve into businesses they are not. Uh, what do you call knowledgeable, that? knowledgeable yes, about yes. so what's your advice very very simple business has so many dynamics we have HR 
we have cash flow management, we have accounting, we have so. So, the first thing I would advise is get to know that business first. Mm. Do your own, you know, like um, schooling. Mm. Get to understand. Yes, I, 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 I remember a story I had some years back. A lady wanted to start a business. Do you know what she did? She, 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 was, she had a good job. What she did was she went to a coach, she went to the, inside Lagos Island. Mm -hmm. She went to submit herself for, you know, yeah. to learn. Ooh. They didn't know she had a car, she would park the car very far. Oh, and she that? walked to those mamas to learn how to train. She did that for like six months because she had a plan. So it all boils down to having a plan. Whether for someone who do not have that time. Some people, yes. they, they close from work very late. They say, yes. okay, you know what, I want to open a business, a salon, yes. or a, a, what to call a fashion center. Yes. What is making money? You, you, you Let me just open it and put people you, there. You can't just put people there. And before you know it, the business is gone, the funds You can't just put people in business. You've got to find a way of monitoring. Okay. I read someone who, uh, I read online some days back about a guy who had businesses in different you know, locations. And he was monitoring them. He had in New York, he had in um, uh, in London, he had in about four different in in, in um, Italy. And he was and he lived he lived in New York, but he's able to monitor them. So what he does is he has a process in place. So you have to find a way of putting a process in place. So even though you are still yes. a worker, you, you can, can also still, still, yes. still run your There's business. A process you have you train your staff well. The basic, the, yes. I mean, the, the longer short of the story we're talking about being financially independent. Very, very basically, good. it's for you to be knowledgeable about what you're doing. Critical. Very and good. need to invest yes. as much as possible. Unfortunately, this is all we can take from now. Our time is almost up. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Benjamin so Abdul Yes, much. if you need to reach out to him to get a business plan or yes. to get to what the financial plan. Financial yes. plan. <laughs> and get to understand what you need to invest in. Yes. Please don't worry, reach out to us at Omote and we'll. Get across to him. Thank you. So Thank you so much for being on the show. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we draw the cartoon, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the sign on. Stay with us. Thanks for joining us.